You've heard of George Washington, the guy on the dollar bill. But did you know that back in the day, I was a real dude, full of grit, determination, and maybe a sprinkle of teenage rebellion? Born in Virginia, I spent my childhood exploring the wilderness, taming horses, and learning the ropes of running a farm. School wasn't exactly my thing, but I soaked up knowledge like a sponge when it came to anything outdoors. Think wilderness survival skills, horseback riding like a pro. Fast forward a few years. Tensions were high between the American colonies and Great Britain. We colonists felt like Britain was calling all the shots and not giving us a fair say. So guess what? I decided to step up. Being tall and strong with a knack for leadership, I joined the militia, basically the colonial army. Turns out, I wasn't half bad at this whole war thing. Battles raged, cannons boomed, and there I was, leading my troops into combat. One especially brutal winter, our army camped at Valley Forge. Talk about rough living. We were freezing, hungry, and barely had enough supplies to keep going. But hey, we persevered. We drilled, we practiced, and we never gave up hope. Finally, France decided to lend us a hand. Together, with a combined force, we started winning battles. Remember that stubborn British General Burgoyne? We surrounded his army near Saratoga, and guess what? He had to surrender. This victory was a major turning point in the war. News of our success spread like wildfire, and more countries started backing us up. We even secured a sweet alliance with France, which meant more resources and support. Slowly but surely, the tide was turning. Years of fighting and countless sacrifices later, victory was finally within reach. We cornered the British Army at Yorktown, Virginia, and after a long siege, they threw in the towel. Freedom bells rang, cheers erupted. We had officially won the American Revolutionary War. But hold on, the story doesn't end there. After the war, everyone wanted me to be the leader of this new nation they were calling the United States of America. Begrudgingly, I agreed and became the very first president of the country we call home today. Sure, there were challenges, arguments over laws, disagreements about how to run things. But hey, that's what comes with building something new, right?